All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Today we have episode something of the. I mean, it's so far in. Basically, we're week three here of the second season in Houston Texans franchise. Obviously, weekly awards, game plan against an elite quarterback. We get to choose our regional focus scout or scouting, like what we want to do with that. And uh, also, weekly strategy we have to do. But also, I picked up. What did I pick up? I think, oh, they picked up someone from our practice squad. Gotcha. Anywho, let's look at the weekly strategy, or the, uh, the weekly award. It was actually the rookie linebacker, Kevin Waddle, with nine tackles, an interception, a forced fumble, and a touchdown. Massive week from Kevin Waddle. Love to see that. Uh, just an absolute stud. Anywho, uh, game plan against an elite quarterback. Let's, let's discuss on how we're going to stop Mr. Russell Wilson, because apparently he's really good. Not in real life, with Russell Wilson being able to make plays with both his arms and legs, it must be tough to devise a game plan to stop him. What's the biggest factor in slowing him down? Probably limit the passing. As I do. Plus three man end zone coverage this week to help us out with that. Should help out quite a little bit, if I had to guess. And looking at players ready to negotiate. We have a lot of players that we want to negotiate with. Derby. I forgot what he said. I think he wanted more money. Like, I'll, I'll give him this. It's a good offer. Okay. Okay. Well, we got him back. Our uh, fullback for the rest of the series, probably. And then Laramie Tunsil, now 29. Star left tackle, 88 overall. It's just, you know, like, how much, How long does he want? He wants three. We won't, we won't start contract negotiations now if we end up actually ever negotiating with them uh i mean obviously you could use a stud left left tackle but that's just a lot of money from a from a uh smaller team like us let's choose regional scouting focus all right um why let, let's just look let's look around let's see what we got all right, so I think this is what we're doing with the scouts. West will go with offensive tackle, as you can see right above the region prospect, the scouting focus, current position, offensive tackle, wide receiver, corner, and outside linebacker. I think those just fit the the regions. All right, so I think that we should be good there. Moving on, let's go ahead and look at weekly strategy. We'll uh, try to... We already have uh, some some pluses here for... Um, Russell Wilson to help us out, but we're gonna go ahead and invest a little bit more in him. Why not? We don't need to worry about the blitz too hard. If Randy Gregory, I mean, no offense to Randy Gregory, but great player, he's coming on heavy as of late. But I think we're gonna try to run it inside. I think that'll be the game plan, and then we'll go ahead and look. We'll try two plus passing touchdowns. 30 point, uh, no, 24 points or less, 300 plus offensive, and no sacks allowed. I think that is pretty much fine. And starting off 0-2 is not the uh, best thing <laughs> to, uh, to do. And we'll look here at the defense, look for injuries. Don't see any. And I'm sure we'll have upgrades after this anyways. And offensively, no injuries. So pretty much clear of that. Good and yeah, well, have upgrade players whether or not they're important or not. No, I mean two of these guys I'm looking at so far: Northcutt, Dion Gray, and uh, C.J. Gardner Johnson. Let's go ahead and look at his rating, zone coverage, tackle, man coverage is up. And he's really good, really, really, really good. We'll, we'll practice. We'll practice on run support. We'll uh, look at run support here and upgrade it. I mean, huge, huge upgrade there. Get plus two pursuit. That's another big one right there. Tim Northcutt, the young left end, looking at finesse moves. Probably just trying to upgrade his finesse moves till he's like a seventy-five overall uh, finesse move rusher. I guess. I mean, until he's good enough to maybe come off the edge for one day. You know, Dion Gray had a TFL last week. Not the greatest player. Sixty-seven overall. Bad finesse moves. I mean, he's just a cover player. Really, that's what it comes down to. Is he's really just a cover player. Don't need to look into any of that. Let's just upgrade pass coverage for now with uh, Dion Gray. I don't expect him to really start in the long run for me. And then we'll just upgrade both those guys right there. 
just okay. I think that is uh pretty ideal. And yeah, looks like we're ready for the game. All right, into the game now. We're looking at the Broncos offense. I'm gonna put my phone on the charger right there. I don't know if that was really loud for you guys. Could have been, but yeah. I mean, right now we have a tough task ahead of us, and that is the Denver Broncos. As it looks like we will be kicking off. No, we will be returning. Unfortunate. And it is off as Fox will let it go. Uh, we'll take this one out with Andy Isabella. Why not? I've got to wait for my kicker or my uh, blockers there. I don't know why I say kickers, but uh, coming onto the field now with a very poor start of the season. Be this guy, Davis Mills, has been so far it just hasn't been good. Five interceptions, two touchdowns, four hundred fourteen yards on thirty nine of seventy two. He looks to be good, right? Like, obviously, his accuracies are insane, but still see him miss the occasional throw every single uh, every single drive. We'll see some missed throws from him. We put the focus on running it inside as we get a positive gain of three there. And it looks like they're going to stack <laughs> the, uh, the defensive line a little bit, but stack the offensive line. Exceptional. Damien Pierce pushing forward for about eight there. Eight or nine. Love to see that. Damien Pierce already off to a good start tonight. Going to try to get to the left side here. And, I mean, we're going to have a holding. Bank. Let's see. Holding. Offense. Yep. And that was on Quinn Miners. So, that one will be coming back. We'll run it again. Why are we running out of this formation like a lot? Randy Gregory is so good. Why is he so good? And he's down and hurt. No longer something to deal with. That's cool. Love to see that. That that helps us out a little bit. And let's go ahead and work off play action here. As all we've done is run the ball. Just look at that. How do you miss that? Davis Mills. I mean, just so many questions about his future. Um... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess. Brevin Jordan needs to come away with that one on Patrick Sertan. Doesn't end up happening. We'll punt, of course. Go ahead and punt this one up and away. We'll get downfield. Not too far, though. I did not mean to do that. That should be a flag, but it's not going to be. Look at Russell Wilson, who's working his way up onto the field now. And what has he done this year? All right, he's really good. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna really suck today. It's gonna be a tough matchup, but we're gonna have to try to win here. Need big turnovers, big plays from our defense, especially our linebackers. Just like that right there, shooting the gap with Christian Harris, just realizing, reading the play, getting inside. I mean, Christian Harris is just the more complete linebacker, just better than. Uh, just better than Kevin Waddle. Be a complete pass to Tim Patrick for 20 yards, which is uh ridiculous. We're gonna have a four-man blitz off just the right side. Yeah, that all works out. And Christian Harris will have a sack. We talked about having big plays, especially our linebackers, who have been impact players for us all season long so far. I mean, they just look so good, and Christian Harris really taking command over this defense here and he'll work on stopping Javante right there after just a, a pretty big game from Javante all things considered we'll go back to Christian Harris here see what we can do with good old Christian Harris and okay all, all right then looked like he had a wide open scrambling lane we had two people on the running back that just I mean Kevin Waddle just needs to stay in place really that's what it comes down to. Kevin Waddle, 90 speed, can fly. And why, 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 why do you give me that guy? Why do you give me Chauncey Gardner Johnson? Basically already at the point. Like, I don't understand the switching on in this game. It's just so, oh God, no, can we just pinch the line? That's all I wanted to do. And Waddle, Dion Gray trying to wrap up from behind after letting Greg Dulcich Go past him. Greg Dulcich, 
Dulcich tight end out of UCLA. I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I think, though. I'm almost sure. Not quite there. Christian Harris and Rasheem Green making a good play together there. And uh, Christian Harris already flying all over the field trying to make plays. We'll go ahead and pinch the line here. I don't know what that'll do for us. As it could have been a run. And Steven Nelson trying to get outside. Wrap up on Albert O. Okudibwidabam. You know. Anywho. Third and eight. Steven Nelson with a big stop. Kevin Waddle. Going to try to cover some of the field. As we'll actually work with Christian Harris here. Gets a swim move. He's into the backfield. He has a forced fumble and a sack. Christian Harris right now is playing out of his mind. Playing like one of the best players on the field right now at all times. Really could become a, a young guy that develops into one of the best in the league as he already looks like one of the best. Finally have Isaiah Pacheco in the game and we'll actually target him early. No block we get there from Sammy Watkins and Ojemudio will make a good tackle. As it is third and long once again, trying to, I mean, make something happen. And it's just going to be broken up. What the hell can we do? I, it's so hard to push the ball downfield right now. Other than the run game, we can get maybe three yards if we're lucky. What? Just, just lay him out, dude. All right, probably going to try to stop. I mean, probably going to be a run. And it's Christian Harris in the backfield. That can't make anything happen. Javante Williams showing his elusiveness as he has a very similar stat line to Damian Pierce. Uh, I mean, right now we're just looking at our linebackers trying to make a play. And Derek Stingley Jr. allows a big one to Cortland Sutton. I mean, 7-7, seven 84 yards. Very ideal start for the Broncos here and Russell Wilson. Start to use their Kevin Waddle now and try to make some sort of play happen with him. And Steven Nelson allows one to that KJ Hamler, it looks like it. As uh Kevin Waddle back now, and this one could be a run. I expect it to be a run. It is play action. And we'll see what comes around. We get someone on the quarterback, Christian Harris, dude. I literally pressed down on the right stick. That sends someone out for the quarterback. Sent it down, no one towards the quarterback. Christian Harris just continued to stand in the middle of no man's land. Just, I don't know. I don't know. And Kevin Waddle looked like he might have a good chance at a sack there. Gets picked up late. Still caused a little bit of pressure. It'll be an inevitable Denver Broncos touchdown. And for the PAT after... Most likely will be. Bobby Bill had a chance to block that. It would be 10-0. to zero. And, I mean, here we are. Play two of the drive as we'll try to run it now with Isaiah Pacheco who finds some space up the inside. Big run. Goes for 15 yards. I mean, maybe we should uh, have some uh, Isaiah Pacheco action a little bit more as we're going to try to get our offense rolling now with the run game. Damian Pierce bowls forward for uh, for a good seven or so yards right there. We'll go ahead and uh, work off of a what looks like a pass or run and out to John Mechie who's got five yards. I mean, it's just not sustainable really. All things considered, you don't. We want a little bit more than that. Kenyon Green picks up a nice block on the outside. Damian Pierce, good for another four or five yards. We'll run the slants concept, not with Pacheco in the backfield. Not today, Pacheco. We'll get this one. Kenyon Green, we need to get out and make a uh, a nice block there. Still doesn't. Pacheco still gains six. And uh, right now we're really relying on the run game as it looks like a weak box. We might be able to run it well. And just good blocks all the way up. Pacheco to the outside. Another 17 yards. Pacheco's really putting in uh really putting in a good look right now. Showing up that uh showing up that he can show up. That's what I'm trying to say here. And this one looked like man coverage. Damian Pierce runs right into Justin Simmons, but still gets six on the play. Right now looking good. We'll try to get that uh passing touchdown. We talked about in the weekly game plan and I mean just no one looks like they want it 
Davis Mills, that, that counts as a sack. That's cool. Defensive lineman can catch up to a uh, a Davis Mills type player. That makes sense to me. That that makes perfect sense. We'll uh, try to strike Brevin Jordan. Uh, we could have early. Stepping up. Just going to throw it away. What was that sidearm pass? I mean, we'll have to take our points, obviously. But look at this pass right here as we're trying to throw it away. It just tosses this thing into the, the bleachers or into the stands there. It's like our 25-yard field goal against this uh, against this Broncos team. Can I talk? And this one goes right in. And Quinn Miners is hurt on the the um, PAT or the field goal attempt. Damn. Whatever. And back on defense here. Already had a good play. The uh, Broncos did. As we just need to force a fumble or something, dude. Something. Something. Oh, this Broncos team is just 11 of 11, 131 yards as we're really struggling to, I mean, contain the passing here. And Deion Gray just not a cover guy. It's a fumble. Jalen Petrie, our rookie. Get out. Side. Can't beat Russell Wilson, but we get it on the 35. A forced fumble coming in from combining. I mean, oh, God, and we have to pass the ball here. G freaking G, man. We lost. I mean, look at that is just no separation. Well, I mean, get separation there at the end there from Sammy Watkins. There and there and there. I cannot stop saying there. You guys couldn't understand or couldn't uh, know what I was doing there. So we're going to step up into this throw. Sammy Watkins! Look at that throw right there. Stepping right up into it with 43 seconds left. Broncos still have three timeouts. I don't know how I feel about that, but... What a touchdown pass there from, from the uh, quarterback, Davis Mills, to Sammy Watkins. Two plays, both of them connections to from Davis Mills to Sammy Watkins. Uh, Sammy Watkins looks like a weapon right now. Only guy getting open, it looks like it's going to be Sammy Watkins today. As he's working on, I mean, I don't even know who he's working on, but it was good. As uh, you see Bobby Biddle walking off the field. I changed his number. I changed all these guys. Max Work should look a little bit more normal now. And I think I finally found mic settings that work, by the way, as well. So if you like these mic settings, let me know. And this one, just a massive, massive play down the field. How is that open? What are you guarding, Jalen? Supposed future superstar? Stupid bum? We're going to try to... I mean, get after the quarterback, and that one will be incomplete. Thank God, dude. First incompletion there from Russell Wilson. As I said, I got a notification, but just nothing's popping up. Just, my watch keeps vibrating for some reason. Don't know why. It is an interesting world we live in. It'll be a Tim Patrick first down and out of bounds. Down to the 36-yard line now. To think that this is a tied game right now with 207 total yards in the first half for the Broncos is crazy lay the wood down christian harris needs to get over there and make a play we're just trying to keep them out of the end zone that's the grand the grand total here is we're trying to keep them out of the end zone and russell wilson blake cash just doesn't is not affected how is russell blake cashman weighs more than russell wilson more muscle mass i would put money on it and just, yeah, shrugs it right off. And what a great play there from Christian Harris. Stripping that ball out. And we'll try to play like prevent, I guess. Trying to play so they don't get a touchdown here. And it'll be a sack for Alquidine Muhammad. The new Texan we brought in from free agency. Love to see him getting after Russell Wilson. That's really what we brought him on for. It'll be 4th and 15. Bobby Biddle. Can he make a stop? Block a punt. Block a kick. Doesn't look like it. And this one barely sneaks in. Be 13 to 10. And they'll get the ball back at half as well. Does kind of suck. As we did nothing with our first drive. What is going on with Mr. Bubba Dub's head or eyes there? Kind of looked demonic to me. I don't, I don't know. But right now we're dominating in rushing yards. We have... 40 more than they do, but we have 41 passing yards and somehow have 10 points. 
our defense has been has been really good at keeping us in this one. As Arizona and Carolina will go to um, Kyler Murray, two hundred and twelve yards, two touchdowns. James Connors having an okay game. DeAndre Hopkins, you know, Matt Corral getting play time there in Carolina. He looks good. He's doing well. Jacksonville, New Orleans. What do we got here? Trevor Lawrence has done nothing. I mean, obviously he's done something. And Chad Griffin, who we played against last week, having a game. He's a rookie. And, I mean, games right now around the league. Pittsburgh destroys San Francisco's defense. Uh, Miami beats Buffalo. New, New England beats New York. A lot of interesting uh, matchups as we'll head right back into our game again. Go ahead and kick this one off to the Broncos offense, who have been tearing our defense apart uh, with their passing offense. It's just been way too good. And when they run the ball, it's been really good. So working on a little bit different circumstances now as momentum has kind of slowed down, trying to figure out where we stand with uh, all these guys. As I mean, we can expect runs again. We weren't uh, expecting all that. What? Uh, Tim Patrick literally just ran backwards away from Christian Ayers, knowing how much of a a punch he packs. You know, Christian Ayers is turning into one of the scariest linebackers into the league. Kevin Waddle needs to wrap up, thinking that uh, anticipating an Albert Oguri with um, <laughs> uh, anticipating another good route from him, and that never happens. Just runs a simple curl, checks down early, and gets the. And Kevin Waddle. Why do you give me Steven Nelson? He's on the left. Not even close. Give me Jalen Petrie to make a downfield tackle. Try to force a fumble. Give me Jalen Petrie there. And we make a good play. Almost guaranteed. And across the body, just a perfect pass. Where's that going? CJ Gardner Johnson lay a hit. Please do something. I mean, we had a chance with Christian Harris early, but just obviously did not look like a good lane as they might run the ball here. We'll get on Dion Gray as he's just a tiny little dude. Oh my god, he's in the backfield immediately. Dion Gray so fast just sneaks into the backfield there. I mean, that's the upside of an athlete at linebacker there. He just is a little bit undersized. I mean, it's just not good. And Desmond King. Oh, it's a fumble. Kevin Waddle forces it. Jalen Petrie with his second uh, fumble recovery. Javante Williams can't catch. What in the hell was that? Uh, Russell Wilson has two tackles now. Tim Patrick. It'll be a booth review. This one's coming back. This one is going to be Broncos ball here. Yeah, he's down. Yeah, every time there's a booth review on a fumble, it's going to go the other way. If you recover it, it's just the way that the game works, and rightfully so. I mean, the call is correct, but whether or not, you know, whatever. Touchdown, Denver Broncos put us put them up twenty to ten. As we'll get the ball back now, back on offense. Now we'll switch to a run here, as it's probably just the smarter thing to do. Isaiah Pacheco, a gain of one right there, averaging nearly eight yards per carry. Um. Working out a five wide. Curious how this is going to work. We're going to go for Brevin Jordan immediately as he's good for a couple of yards. We're going to go hurry up. Just very limited success. So when we have it, we got to use it. Sammy Watkins on a whip route. Just just catch it and take it down. Just get a gain of five there. Davis Mills. Exceptional. We'll have two blockers on a wide receiver screen on the, the right or left side there. As uh, I wanted to throw it. Didn't end up happening. Just uh, giving it right to Damian Pierce, who will go right up the inside. And we'll work off play action here. Probably going to be a sack if I had to call anything here. No, there's no blitzer off of the left edge. And just trying to give it to Brevin Jordan on the run. Does get it to Brevin Jordan. Davis Mills, I mean, we're playing kind of conservative, if you guys couldn't tell. As we're going to see an opportunity here. To just, oh, beat him off the line. Don't say anything more. Nico Collins on his first touchdown of the season. I think he could have had one already. Look at him. I mean, just beats off press coverage every time. Every time we see him. His release, there's just something about it. 
Man, he's really good. We'll, we'll score a touchdown there. Dave, uh, Davis Mills has two passing touchdowns. That was one of our goals is we'll get some guaranteed staff points, try to make some upgrades to our offense and or defense, depending on what's lo what looks the best. And, um, yeah, we'll see this Broncos offense back in action after taking it taking a knee in the end zone. <laughs> I almost said taking it in the end zone. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I don't know. Would have been a funny reference there. Is maybe a run play, Kevin Waddle. I mean, look at how elusive Javante Williams is. Just, just making every guy miss. I mean, it's just impossible to make a user tackle on him. And uh, Max Warwick. I mean, just trying to do something. Even Nelson on Cortland Sutton early, but just not good enough. There, as we'll uh, prepare for a for a tackle here, or for a run and. Why did Desmond King stop? And it's a broken tackle. Deion Gray going to have to make a, a touchdown saving tackle. Jesus Christ. Moving up the field, Russell Wilson has two incompletions on the day on 25 attempts for over 300 yards, it looked like. And uh, a couple of touchdowns. That's a pair of them. And this one just predetermined throw. And Steven Nelson now is down. We might see a Bobby Biddle come on in and play for us. Uh, I see him on the field. It's Bobby Biddle. Making his debut. Laying! Oh, what a game. What a touchdown saving tackle from Kevin Waddle. We'll bring Steven Nelson back in. Uh, just need him. It's just a necessity. And Blake Cashman's lost. He's more lost than a, a two-year-old lost in a damn forest. More lost than a fucking... I don't know. He's lost. That's the grand scheme of everything. The Denver Broncos will go up 27. Yeah. 27 to 17. We'll have the ball back. Now we'll have a good chance on offense here. Safety does go there. What a route from Sammy Watkins. Showing the connection between the veteran and the young one. Davis Mills and Sammy Watkins. Right now, they're, they're clicking. They're clicking on offense, and I love to see that. As I mean, we we'll, might see. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I tried to set my feet, but for some reason just kept running. Even though I didn't even have anything pressed down on my controller. That's awesome. Look at uh, AJ Long here. The rookie tight end. Gets a good gain of 7 there. AJ Long, we're trying to just kind of develop him early. As This looks like a great play for Andy Isabella. Give it to Andy! You idiot. God. It looked like a great play. I mean, Andy Isabella would have had daylight, but Damian Pierce makes that one count right there. Give it to him one more time as uh, Andy Isabella is going to go ahead and try to block upfield as well. Actually, switch this one to the right side of the field. Damian Pierce, shoestring tackle by Bradley Chubb there. Oh, my. And it's going to be a holding anyways. This one's coming back after a huge run. But, I mean, ah, it's Andy Isabella. What is he doing on the field? We have an injured receiver, or is just one winded? Has to come on. I mean, it'll be first and five with a massive gain from Damian Pierce. So he'll try to find another hole up the inside. Goes ahead and does that. Damian Pierce averaging six per carry. And they'll go to the aggressive side of uh, strip stripping the ball here. We'll try to get this one out to Pacheco probably early. We do try to make a guy miss. Can't make Justin Simmons miss. He's just too talented of a safety here. And we'll just snap this one nice and quick here. Just give it to Pacheco. Trust him up the field. Gets a good gain of about 17 there, I think. So looking looking really good. We're not going to call any sort of screen there. I think if we're going to call anything, it's going to be this RPO to Isaiah Pacheco. Going to try to outrun Randy Gregory. Can't do so. Will be tackled for loss there. As uh, Isaiah Pacheco... Just doing all right, you know? Nothing too entirely quite special, but... I mean, he'll get the ball here. Try to juke up inside. Can't do so. Gets up to the five-yard line, though. Davis Mills come back, and he's shown us what he's capable of. Already missed a throw, I know. But it doesn't matter, as we'll have Nico Collins and A.J. Long on, like, the same route there. We had circle wide open still kind of do trying to rush for this one but at least it'll be a first down i know we had a couple of options open but just don't want to risk it there we have a chance 
We're going to look for a Damian Pierce touchdown right here. Is that Julian Love on the Broncos, by the way? I like that fit. And it'll be a touchdown. And Randy Gregory's down for the second time. Real injury-prone guy, as you guys know. Or if you guys didn't know. And we'll have a Damian Pierce touchdown. Pending the PAT will be 24. Yeah, 24 to 27. And it'll be the Broncos ball with four minutes left as uh, we've tried to uh, contain this Broncos offense, which we have not been able to do. And this is the bullshit that happens in the game, by the way. When you play, when you play like prevent, I don't know why it ever plays prevent, but when you do, it just is so dumb. Did you get wide open matchups like that? Look at Russell Wilson's stat line right there: twenty six to twenty eight, three hundred forty one yards and two or three touchdowns. I think it was three. Uh, this one might be a run here. Christian Harris, massive reading it. I mean, he has the option to just pull right out if it's play action as well, or attack the quarterback if he's in the backfield that quick. Obviously making a massive play on defense right there, trying to keep our chances. And it's the other linebacker, Kevin Waddle, navigating his way into the backfield. We'll call a timeout. Why not? Stop the clock. Prevent anything from coming off as we'll have a chance to stop the, the Russell Wilson Broncos here. We will have a chance. Check down. Kevin Waddle, wrap up. And this one might be a little bit closer than we wanted to. Kevin Waddle, not quite there. They'll punt. Hopefully. I mean, if it's a fake, Bobby Biddle will be here to stop it. And no fake, it looks like. That is okay as Andy Isabella. No. Let this one. Yes. All right, we get the touchback. We'll have the ball at the 20 with three minutes to go and a chance to win against this high-tier Denver Broncos offense here and getting it out to Damian Pierce now is we'll try to run some of this clock away. Obviously want to do that, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Just run up the inside there. Looked like we had it away there. Kirk Lott, our starting left tackle rookie, or right tackle? I think he's playing at right tackle as a rookie. Just not doing the, not doing the job well enough as he gets up, and Damian Pierce... Good for another 12. Damian Pierce has been a constant, a constant guy to watch for this uh, this offense here. We'll go ahead and switch it up, try to pass the ball. Get this one out to Isaiah Pacheco, try to make something happen. Can't make anything. This one will go to the two-minute warning. And like I said, we have a pretty good chance at winning here if we don't mess anything up. Running out of five wide, this could easily mess things up here. We'll uh, put Mechie back across the field. And Brevin Jordan just too open not to throw it. Go ahead and throw it. And it was a good throw. It'll be third and one. Working out of four verts. Definitely will pass it. To I mean, that's such a bad throw. I don't know why it does that. It like passes him upfield for some reason. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. It worked out. It worked out in the end there. So not complaining too, too much. As, I mean, that just looked open at the start. Won't be. Just throw it away. Just throw it away. With a minute and 13 left. Oh, wow. By the way, Marquise Brown, Marquise Hollywood Brown, could miss the rest of the season, by the way. I just got, like, in real life. Oh, wow. That's pretty big news. All right. Well. Interesting. And... Just head up field, Brevin. Let, let me make uh, let me make you make a play. And I mean, right now, this penalty from Laramie Tunsil really, really hurting us right now. Uh, let's, we'll look to gain some yardage here. It'll be Isaiah Pacheco. Just can't outrun. Who the hell is that? Who can't Isaiah Pacheco outrun? That just is not right, dude. I'm so fed up at this point with that. The speed gap. We have Nico Collins one-on-one. -on -one. We know what he can do. And Ronald Darby, with superstar dev, will actually end up, I mean, doing that to us. So the 42-yard line is where we're trying to get with, uh, I mean, we have to get the first down here, regardless. Sending all of our guys downfield, play action for no reason. And this one, just a bad throw for me. I shouldn't have thrown that. And this one, I mean, that fucking penalty from Laramie Tunsil. 
sucks. Laramie Tunsil cost us the game. They'll go into victory formation. We won't even call timeouts. I'm too fed up. Let's see if Max Ward can win off the uh, off the line. We won't even call timeouts. We were field goal off for three points off of winning this game. It looked winnable for a while. Davis Mills telling his guys, what the fuck, Laramie Tunsil? Your fault. Um, yeah. Something you don't like to see. Uh, if you're if you're the Texans and you're a fan of this franchise, you see the fans just don't need that. They don't need that. Laramie Tunsil, one of the best tackles in the league, giving him a massive holding penalty, bringing back your team 10 yards, and uh, making it nearly impossible to make anything happen. Anyways, so... Just, it's just so hard to look at this game and, and think that we had a chance. I mean, obviously, threw the ball well as well. That's what really brought us back into this one was Davis Mills making all the throws he needs to make. Perhaps had one of his best uh, games this season. Probably the best game this season, no doubt. Two touchdowns on 69% uh, completion percentage. Nice. 18 of 26, 174 yards isn't much, but when we have a run game like this, Damian Pierce goes for 5.9 a carry, a touchdown, 83 yards on just 14 attempts. Pacheco also ran the ball for nearly 8 a carry. And on the receiving side of things, like I said, Sammy Watkins was clicking with Davis Mills, had the most yards on the team with five receptions, also had his touchdown. Nico Collins had his and 33 yards. I mean... We're not even seeing John Mechie involved at all. As that pass, I mean, they just had a really good secondary. Super hard to, to play against. That's, that's that. All right, so, yeah, we got the 300-plus offensive yards and the two-plus passing touchdowns. Should have gotten more than that, but... Oh, no, we were just this close off of the 300 yards, is my guess. Christian Harris with an absolute phenomenal game. Just yet again, another great, just, just great overall performance. He'll be up to a 76 overall with morale, of course. Uh, up to a 74 true overall. Uh, second year captain, zone coverage, tackle, strength. I really wanted Blockshed to go up to like a 75, and even if we got a plus two. He looks great. 90 speed is insane. 94 Excel is even crazier. 83 tackle, he's playing up to 74 Blockshed. 82 hit power, 80 pursuit. 76 awareness is kind of holding him up. And 71 zone coverage, also insane. Man coverage is also boosted up to a 68 right now. He looks like a complete linebacker. And, I mean, who knows, maybe even a linebacker one. As we'll go ahead and discuss the performance of the elite quarterback, Russell Wilson, who absolutely went off on us, by the way. If you didn't watch, it's always tough to beat a team led by Russell Wilson. But does that make this, any easy, or this loss any easier to swallow? Uh, never. Every loss hurts. We came in with the expectations to shut him down and win the game, but we weren't able to get the job done. No shit. And down play and down negative five play rec right next game. That's awesome. Well, that's that's really fun to be playing with. And we'll sim to next season or next next week, and we'll have the tough. I mean, I don't know how tough it'll be. The Jacksonville Jaguars both zero and three, tied for the loss of the division. Uh, short week. We also have some morale or uh, fatigue is going to come into play. Give me one check-in. We're going to evaluate the start of Davis Mills' uh, season. And then, yeah, we also have players ready to negotiate. We'll look, we can look through the prospects if you guys would like. Weekly strategy, also there. Anywho, that'll do it for me. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Helps out a lot. And subscribe if you aren't already and you're enjoying the content. And then comment down below if you have anything to tell me. Or comment down below your favorite player on this Houston Texans team. That'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.